So, here we've come. We're at the end of 2020. This year was nothing short of historic. It was a trial for the whole world, and it was full of unexpected things. Just worldwide unexpected. And it seemed every month, at the very least, we were told of a new tragedy. We were told of a new crisis. There was some new factor in the equation. There has a lot of people questioning what is 2021 going to be like? Is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? Will this virus finally be gone? Will the vaccine be good? Will it be safe? Should I take it? Should I not take it? Will it help? Who's going to be the president? And by the time we watch this video, I think we know <laughs> I am recording it um, a little ahead. Anyways, I would like to give you an excerpt from the book of Job. And this is chapter 5, and I'll list the verses in the description box. This is speaking of God, and it says, He saves the needy from the sword of their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope, and injustice shuts her mouth. In famine he will redeem you from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the lash of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. At destruction and famine you shall laugh, and shall not fear the beast of the earth. You shall know that your tent is at peace, and you shall inspect your fold and miss nothing. Friends, I can't tell you what 2021 is going to be like. Only God knows. But I can promise you, He is still there for you. He is still protecting you. He is still fighting for you. He still loves you. He is still providing for you. He is still there for you. And just as Job said in speaking about him, it applies to you too. He is your God. He is your Father. He is your Savior. Nothing surprises him. Nothing's too hard for him. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is with you always to comfort, to strengthen, to protect, and to love. So take these verses from Job. Solidify them in your hearts as we go into 2021 and know that everything I just said goes with you, goes with us into 2021. We don't have to fear the future because we are the children of the God of the universe who holds time in his hand. I pray you have peace.